Hi, Giovanni. Um, first of all, can I just ask you uh, about your reaction to the, the Europa League draw? Um, Dortmund away, please. Yeah, well, for, us, uh, <clears throat> for me, a very exciting draw. I think not only for me, but for the team as well, as, as well for the club, you know. Uh, Playing against the top side in Europe has been uh, so. F it's a good forecast for us to be able to uh, play two good games against a quality uh, opponent. Uh, so in that way, it's for me, it's uh, it's a nice draw. You know, it's going to be really hard, but you want the challenges uh, in life and also in football to uh, compete with the best and. Uh, you know, we are uh, able to uh, compete with the best now, so we have to be on the, on the top of our game. But uh, really exciting to, uh, to see the draw against Dortmund. Another thing I just wanted to ask you about today was Kamar Roof's injury is confirmed as another setback. Can you give us any more information on that injury, please? Yeah, well, Kamar has a setback again. Um, you know, with the injury, so uh, probably you know we're almost almost uh, you know the end of the the games before the winter break. So uh, it will be for him. Uh, hopefully, will uh, be fit before it, but you know it's uh, not sure yet. So we should have uh, definitely have him back uh, after the winter break. Thank you, Vanny. Um, can you give us the squad update for tomorrow night? Any other injuries or players missing? No, we have the same players uh, who were available on Sunday, so no new injuries, so we'll, uh, we'll be good. For the match against St. Johnston, it, it, it will be slightly different to Hearts in that St. Johnston will more than likely sit in and allow you to have the possession. How does that change the mentality of what you need to do in the game? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't need to change the mentality. For me, there's no difference if you play against a team who will pressure high up or, or defend really deep. Uh, I think our mentality always has to be same, you know, with the way we wanted to play. Of course, the difference is, is uh, technically you should uh, do something different, which is normal. But uh, we prepared the team well enough to, uh, to also create chances tomorrow against St. Johnston. And that's, you know, what, what, what it's all about. Giovanni, just on the injuries as well, is there any updates on Brian Jack as well? Well, Ryan Jack is uh, the same uh, with uh, like Kamar. You know, we will hope to have him uh, back, of course, as soon as possible. But uh, you know, I think they would be uh, back. Uh, you know, around just before the winter break or during the winter break. So uh, we hope to have Ryan back, uh, uh, back fully fit uh, when we start after the winter break. I know we've spoken about it before in terms of the the January transfer window. When you look at the clubs around about you. Hearts have said that they will strengthen in January. Celtic want their business done early. Where are you in terms of targets and, and the business that you want to do next month? Well, we have um, quite a lot of uh, meetings uh, with Ross Wilson. So we, we know, um, uh, you know what we want to do and uh, in which areas we have to be prepared if something happens. Uh, so in that way, we are already preparing the, the, the transfer window. And, uh, you know, it's always good to, uh, to be, you know, like uh, you have a squad you want in the end of the window. It's never good when you are entering the window and then the end of the window, you are, you know, uh, a less squad than you, you came in. So the objective for us is to, when the transfer window ends, uh, we should have a, a quality uh, squad as well. Hi, Giovanni. Giovanni, just want to check with Ryan Jack. Is it linked in any way to his uh, injury previously, last season's injury? Well, he had. A, <clears throat> I was happy with him because he came back. Uh, you know, he didn't play a lot. You know, we, we could give him some minutes to play. But then, uh, you know, after the I think the, before the game against Lyon, the last training session, he. He just had a moment again, uh, really like almost uh, at the end of the session. So, uh, you know, he was, uh, of course, disappointed, but, uh, you know, he felt it wasn't uh, as bad as he, uh, as he had before. So hopefully we get him a quick, uh, a, a quick recovery for him. So uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm sure that he will be uh, with us in the next uh, couple of weeks to train again.
talk there about potential additions, you know, coming up stronger in January. I just wonder, two of your players who excelled at the weekend, Joe Rebo and Ryan Kent, their kind of contracts that will go into the final 18 months of their contracts. Is it something the club are looking to do in terms of tie them onto new deals? Well, as I said, as you said, uh, you know, I think uh, if you play really well, uh, of course you have uh, uh, interest in in your players. You know, I want to uh, have my my players perform really well. You know, when they perform really well uh, with a club like Rangers, interest will come. But uh, of course, we will look into the the contracts as well. As I said uh, before, uh, I think they're true uh, important part of the team. And, uh, you know, I think I'm very positive about them. I think the club is also positive about uh, the players. So uh, eventually when you're both happy, you can, uh, you can sign a new deal. But uh, we have to see in the coming months uh, how we progress with them. Hi, Gio. Since the, the draw against uh, Dortmund, have you been able to speak or text to young Gio or, or Claudio Reyna since the draw? No, <laughs> I have. Uh, <coughs> he sent my son a text. Dio sent a text straight to my, my eldest son. They were all about uh, almost the same age. Um, so it was good to, uh, to uh, you know, to be drawn against him. You know, it's a special moment for, I think, for both of us, uh, knowing each other. Uh, well, I know, I know Gio is all uh, his whole life. So, uh, you know, we, uh, we visited him, um, I think, uh, one and a half years ago, so watched one of the games for the Dortmund games. And, uh, you know, already... Been in contact with his dad, Claudio, and uh, which we're good friends. So uh, hopefully he can come uh, to the games as well. So all, all, all um, you know, a very special uh, moment for both of us. But uh, you know, being the professional we are, you know, we want to be the best for our our, our clubs, which is normal. But um, you know, for me it's really special because uh, I've known Gio for his whole life. You know, he's named after me, so. You know, it's uh, they can uh, they could, won't come better like uh, like that. And um, s- switching back to the domestic front, Scott Arfield's been quite impressive um, under under your reign. Is he the type of player where you want to try to fit him into your system, or is he one of those kind of special players where you're happy for him to play his natural, um, almost swashbuckling kind of role? Well, I think he's. Um, I think I like Scott. <clears throat> he's one of the players. You know, yeah. Of course, he already knew some players. I didn't know Scott um, really well. Of course, I saw some footage, but you know, that's why it's important for me to uh, to be on the pitch, to be with the players, look in their eyes, see their qualities uh, in the training sessions, but also in the games. And I think Scott is a player who can, um, you know, really uses his strength in the in the system we play. So uh, for me, he doesn't have to play different than he is used to. You know, he can, uh, you know, he can just uh, play in the in the role uh, which shoots him. I think if you uh, if you have that in your team and and players can play the natural way, they're always more effective. And, uh, you know, the last games uh, he played really well. Uh, I'm really happy, as I said before, with the players, with uh, the task we, uh, we are giving them in, ga- in, in games, um, offensively, but also defensively. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Scott is doing really well with uh, the things we want him to do.